Sometimes in business, you just need a quick win, whether it's for momentum or the finances or whatever it is. Sometimes the long game is great, but sometimes you just need a win. Today, we're gonna discuss that. Welcome back, my friends, to yet another episode on the James and Jess channel. I'm your host, James Witte, and if you're new here, welcome. For the past decade for myself and 15 years for my wife, Jess, we have been fortunate enough to travel the world photographing over 350 weddings, and now we get to hang out with you and travel the world teaching other creative entrepreneurs and photographers how to thrive not only in business, but in life. And today specifically, I wanna talk about one thing that we do uh, when we need quick wins. Now there's a lot of schools of thought when it comes to marketing, especially in the photography world and the creative space. I feel like there's always opinions here and there, paid ads, not paid ads, marketing, mar Facebook ads, Google ads, analytics, SEO, word of mouth, all those things. And all those things are great. And in the space of marketing, Jess and I, I fully believe in the long game, doing consistent things that allow you to continue to book weddings. But sometimes, whether you're just brand new and you have no momentum or you just experience a crazy year like the rest of us, sometimes you just need a quick win. You need a way to generate that momentum quicker to, even if it's just, I need a win today so I can take the next step or so I can pay the next bill or so I can upgrade this or whatever your reason is, that's what I wanna focus on today. I wanna focus on one thing that you can do literally as soon as you learn it, you can press pause on this video, close YouTube, and start to do this to hopefully get some wins, get some bookings, create new connections, and that's what we're gonna talk about today. But before we go any further, if you want to learn more of these things, I actually created a workshop for you. It's completely free. It's our five ways that we make more money without needing to raise our prices. I'm all about raising your prices. I'm all about charging what you're worth. But just like what I'm teaching you today, sometimes you just need quick wins, and sometimes it's easier to maximize the profit and service with the clients we already do have. It's a free hour long workshop. It's linked below and you can take those five things plus the one you're going to learn today and start running with those things, making more income, making more of a difference in your business, giving your clients better experiences. So without any further ado, let's dive in to the one thing that I'm going to teach you today that can help you get quick wins. And a lot of the feedback I get from this, I teach this a lot of conferences and the number one thing, it's funny to me, but it's the number one concern of people. They say, well, that sounds like a lot of work. And it's funny to me because I'm teaching a business strategy and they're saying it sounds like work. Yes, this is work. If you're gonna do anything and expect results that benefit your business, it's work. It's part of business. But just like all things, if you are expecting results, you must treat it that whatever the task is, like your job. So just know that what I'm about to teach you, yes, it's work, but it's a lot easier than a lot of other strategies and the types of work. But if you're expecting results, don't expect to not put in the work to not get the results. But that's not who I think you are, so that's why you're watching this video. So let's keep moving forward because I know you're gonna put the work in and I'm gonna teach you the strategies that make it really easy. Now so more than ever, is it that this is the easiest time in the history of the world to communicate with anyone. Social, well, using social media, there is, you can, you can DM presidents, you can DM royalty, celebrities, people you look up to, other YouTubers, other creatives. It doesn't necessarily mean they'll ever get back to you, but there's a chance and it means you can actually send a message. You can DM someone, anyone with an, an Instagram account or a Twitter, and you have a chance of getting a hold of them. There's no time in history has it ever been so accessible to reach people. And if you can DM NBA stars and celebrities and all those people, and there's a slight chance, you better believe that there's a massive chance that you can find future clients on social media, and there's a massive chance that they're gonna get back to you. Specifically, let's talk about Instagram. Now, I'm being slightly facetious when I say this, but did you know? you can find engaged couples on Instagram. In fact, every single day, did you know there's people who get engaged and post about it all over Instagram? Almost like they want people to know about it. 
If only there were lower hanging fruit to find newly engaged couples. This is the lowest hanging fruit. So my question is to you, what are you going to do about it? Or what have you done about it? And more so, what should you do about it? Every single day, friends, there are people getting engaged, posting about it all over online, all over Instagram, getting engaged all over the world saying, hey world, I just got engaged. That is the lowest hanging fruit you are ever going to find. You can literally get in your phone, find those people. So what should you be doing about it? You should be engaging with those people. You should be starting conversations with those people. You should be letting people know who you are and why you matter to what just happened in their lives. So you might be thinking, okay, but how? What's the most efficient way? How do I find those people? How do I start those conversations? Well, to quote rapper Yo Gotti, it goes down in the DMs <laughs> and it's true. I know DMs used to kind of be like this odd, sketchy thing, but it's not anymore. It's the most direct way. DMs are the most direct way you can communicate with anyone on Instagram. I get DMs all the time. Jess gets over 100 DMs a day and she responds to all of them. And people who don't use social media like work, like us, like people who just got engaged, want the attention for it. They don't get that many DMs usually, but now it's this huming them and having conversations with them before they even get the chance to see you or find you. So consider that what I'm about to teach you. And big bonus, nearly 6 million people a year in the United States get engaged on Valentine's Day. Uh, another survey said roughly 10% of US couples choose to get engaged on Valentine's Day. That literally just happened, which means right now, Instagram is blowing up with amazing proposals and amazing engagement stories of the lowest hanging fruit of couples who need a photographer. That is just a bonus. So if I'm gonna light a fire into you right now, that's it. Now, I'm not just saying go out there and and aimlessly wander Instagram for engaged couples and try to DM them as best you can. There is obviously strategy behind this and I want to teach you my strategy. I wanna teach you the strategies, the tools, and the structure that I use to DM couples, to start conversations with couples and let them know who I am and how we can work together. So let's start with how to find them. That obviously you, you have nothing to say. We'll talk about what to say next and how to say it, but if you can't find them, it doesn't really matter. Matter. Well, one, let's start with hashtags and then I'm going to go into location. Location is way more the way to do this, but hashtags, you can obviously search hashtags engage uh, with ring emojis and all those things. One, Google best uh, favorite engage hashtags and start looking at those, but also be really specific. Engage in Santa Barbara, New York City engagement, New York, New York City proposal, all of those specific things and start to browse through. But what you really want to be doing is I'm sure in your town or towns you want to shoot, destinations you want to shoot, there are hot spots for proposals, whether it's hotels, lookouts, buildings, parks, oceans, beaches, whatever it is, you know the spots where people get engaged. Go to location geotagging on Instagram and start searching those locations and then start scrolling through because they're, you're bound to fa find engaged couples through there. You can also, even better, let's say we're talking about the Biltmore, the Four Seasons here, really popular hotel they have an Instagram. I can go to their Instagram and then I can go to tagged photos and I can start to scroll through and see if anyone got engaged in those areas. That's the most efficient way to find uh, newly engaged couples or if you're a senior photographer, there's strategy around accounts that seniors follow and tag and who are graduating. You can start to find your ideal client. So my encouragement to you with that is get lost in the rabbit hole that is the Instagram search uh, feature. Go get into Instagram and start to find that rhythm and start to dive deep into and finding engaged couples with hashtags, with locations and all of those things. And now for what to say. I know you say you found the couple and you're like, okay, how do I say it and when, in which avenue do I say it? Well, there's, there's really three avenues and I'm gonna go from least effective to most effective. And they're all effective. Number one would be, uh, or number three, least effective would be a comment. A comment on the post about their engagement. It's probably the most popular, most engaging post they've ever had and a comment is good. 
Second would be the DMs. Just get into their DMs, say, I saw you got engaged, I'm gonna tell you what to say in a second, and that whole congratulations, that's very effective. And the third way would be responding to an Instagram story. Hopefully the engagement and proposal is fresh, so they've Instagram storied it a little bit. If they did, you know, they have the little color circle, click on that and DM them through that reply to their story. That's the most effective way to get through. But all three are effective and all three will do. So now let's talk about what to say. Let's talk about the outline of what you're gonna say to all these engaged couples. So the outline for what you're gonna say boils down to three very simple things. One, right off the bat, congratulate them and express your excitement. You're going to, they're gonna reflect your mood like I always say and they're already excited. So reflect their mood and get excited and get them more excited for their wedding, for their engagement and all the fun ahead. Two, if there's a detail or something unique that you love about the engagement, whether it's the beautiful ring, the location, what she was wearing, anything special that you can relate back that happened, you want to mention that as well. And three, let them know that you're there to help if they ever need it. That's it, this is a quick little introduction. It's the introduction to the conversation that you're hoping to have with this couple in the future. And I'm gonna bring up what that might look like. I'm gonna get my phone out and I'm gonna actually bring up what that might look like uh, for a DM. So I'm gonna read over two ones that I actually send out and you can copy these verbatim if you want to and I'm just gonna read them to you real quick. I'm gonna bring it up right here. It says, wow, your engagement looked perfect. Look at that ring, congratulations. I hope you have the best time planning your wedding. If you ever have any questions about wedding planning or anything at all, just let us know. That's it, nice and easy. Or it might say, OMG, your engagement looks so dreamy. Congratulations, have so much fun planning your dream wedding. I hope it is amazing. If there's anything I can do to help, please don't hesitate to ask, cheers. Those are just two really simple things that I type up and send via DMs. If there's more details in there, obviously you can add them, but if I'm doing this multiple times a day, it kind of has to be a step and repeat thing to a degree. Now, you might be thinking that's a lot to type every single time, and it is. So here's one of the tools I use that I'm a big, big fan of. I use uh, hotkeys, that's what I call them, or keyboard shortcuts. I've talked about this before when I text brides uh, after their inquiry, I have it loaded in. So I'm gonna bring up my phone, and there's basically a way to program your keyboard on your iPhone and your Mac, where if you just press a series of buttons, kind of like when you, I think it's loaded OMW space, it'll auto generate this on my way text message, just like that. I have this for all kinds of things. I have it for my address, I have it for my emails, my phone numbers, and in this case, I have it for Instagram responses or Instagram DMs. So I'm gonna bring up my phone and show you how to trigger and load one of those hotkeys in your phone. So here we are inside my phone. So we're gonna go to settings. You're gonna scroll down to general after general, you're gonna hit keyboard, and then you're gonna hit the second option down, which is text replacement. Hit that text replacement. As you can see, I already have a few set up here. You're gonna to go to the top right and click plus, and then it's gonna ask you for the phrase. This is what you're gonna copy and paste whatever you want to say in a DM. So you're just gonna hit, I already copied it, hit paste, and it's gonna send that in and then the shortcut, which is the option that whatever keys you want. I have them set up as R as in response one, two, three. So I'm just gonna type in R two and press save. And then I'm gonna hop over into notes and I'm gonna show you if you press R two spacebar, auto generates, and here's another one. If I hit R one, response one, there's another auto generate. And that's how easy it is to Program hotkeys. I have hotkeys on my phone, keyboard shortcuts, whatever you want to call them, literally for my address, my phone numbers, all those things, all these responses. And if you program them into your iPhone, they will sync up with your Mac or your desktop Mac, whatever that looks like. So you can go, cause you can via, you can, so you, cause you can DM now on your computer. So if you're not the texting type, you can just get on Instagram on your computer and start firing away those DMs when you find those engaged couples. And friends, that's how easy it is to program hotkeys and go DM those people. And the thing I always tell people, it sounds super silly, but 
as low hanging of a fruit that all these newly engaged couples are, they cannot hire you if they don't know you exist. You know, I always say that when you're selling products, if no one can purchase something that they don't know exists. In the same way, no one can hire you if they don't know you exist. They're gonna know you exist if you go introduce yourself. Picture Instagram as if you were walking by and this couple was just there saying, I'm engaged, I'm engaged, look at me, look at me, which is essentially what they're doing on a post. They want congratulations, they want the world to know. You could choose to walk right by them or you could choose to walk up to them and say congratulations and introduce yourself. That's essentially what you're doing via social media. This is the easiest it's gonna get to find new clients, you guys. And it's like, I always reference, one of my favorite movies is the movie Hitch, where you know he's talking about kissing. He says you go 90 and it's up to them to go 10. Consider this, all the work you're doing, all the scrolling, getting lost in Instagram, finding these engaged couples, DMing them. That's your 90 and it's up to them to go the other 10. If they don't, at least you know you did all you were supposed to to introduce yourself and make yourself available for them. So my challenge to you is if you hit the link below, I have a little uh, PDF for you of those two hotkeys. You can copy and paste them, get original with it. You can use the hotkeys if you want. You can use your own messaging if you want. And have fun, what I encourage you to do is Write it from your own tone of excitement and then the ones that you really like, copy and paste those and put them in uh, your keyboard shortcuts so that you can start using them from your own voice. But below, there's a PDF for you to check out and you can just download it and start copy and pasting these and putting them inside your keyboard shortcuts. Also, if you wanna really dive in, there's that workshop for you. Five ways to make more money without raising your prices. And this video is just a bonus sixth because that's something you can do right now. The best part about this is I do this in my sweats on the couch at night with a glass of wine. There's, that's it, it's super easy to do. Even if you have like friends on in the background or something or you're waiting for something to export, get on there, do the work, and start finding those couples. And it really boils down to a numbers game. If you do, see like, if you do this like five times, 10 times, you guys, I mean, I hope that works. In fact, I teach this a lot. I get DMs all the time about people saying, I can't believe this worked. I just booked a session or I, I have a client meeting because of this. But moving forward, if you do this 100 times through the next month or so and nothing happens, I'll give you my number or something and you can call me and yell at me, but I've never had that happen. And two, I'm just gonna say DM 100 more people because it's about consistently showing up. But that is something you can do right now. I want you to take this and run with it. Share your wins in the comments here. Share your ideas and your thoughts in the comments. If you like this video, please smash that like button. If you have not yet, hit subscribe. Hope you can take this, use this, and start generating income, booking clients, connecting with people. And until next time, have an absolutely amazing day, hopefully DMing a ton of engaged couples, and I will see you in the next video.